In this video, I'm going to write a C program that finds and prints out the character that occurs the most amount of times in a string. So we'll make a test string. We'll say car s is equal to a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, and then a, b, c, 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 d, e, f, g, h. And so in this string here, most of the characters, like a, occur three times, but c occurs six times. And so we would say this is the character that occurs the most amount of times in the string. It's the maximally occurring character in the string. So we'll write a function that finds and prints out this character in a string. We'll say void print max car. And we'll say that the function is going to accept a string as an argument. We're going to include a couple libraries to help us write this function. We'll include the string.h library that includes the string length function that we can use. We're also going to include the std bool library that includes the boolean variable type, which is also going to be helpful when we go to write this function. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to have a big outer loop that's going to look at each character in the string one at a time. And the first thing it's going to do is check to see have we already counted this character before? Because we really only need to count each character once. Once we count a here, when we encounter it again here, we don't need to count it again. So we're actually going to have an array called unique. And that array is going to keep track of which characters have we already counted. Now, if we haven't already counted the character, then we're going to want to count the character and count how many times it occurs. And then we'll compare that count to the current maximum count for a character. And if that count is greater, then that's going to become the new maximum number of occurrences for a character. And that character is going to become the new character that so far, at least, has occurred the maximum number of times in the string. And so we'll make these variables to help us. We'll say int length is equal to string length of s. So this is going to give us the string length of s. And that's going to let us know how far into this string do we need to go in terms of incrementing our index variable. Then we'll make the unique array. And the unique array is going to have the same length as the string itself. And we need to do that because it's possible that every single character in this string is unique. And if every single character in the string is unique, that means we need at least that many characters to keep track of all the potentially unique characters. Then we're going to make a variable called counted and set it equal to zero. Counted is going to keep track of how many characters have we counted, how many characters are in this unique array here. Then we'll make two other variables for keeping track of the maximum number of occurrences of the maximally occurring character and the character itself. So int max count is going to keep track of the maximum occurrences of a character so far. And then car max car is going to keep track of the character itself. What was it? So we'll make the big outer loop now. We'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. And so we're going to look at each character in the string from zero up until the length of the string with i as our index. And the first thing we're going to do is check the unique array to see if we've already counted the character. So we'll say here bool already counted is equal to false. We'll start off with the assumption that we haven't already counted the character. And then we'll check the unique array to see if we already have. So we'll set j equal to zero. We'll go up until j is less than counted and we'll increment j by one each time. And then we're going to check to see if the character at index i is in the unique array at j. And if it is, that means we've already counted the character. So we'll set already counted equal to true. So the unique array, that's going to have counted number of elements in it at any given time because counted is keeping track of how many elements are in this array. So that's why we go from zero up until counted here, because we have to check all the elements in that array. And if we find that the character that we're currently looking at is in that array, we set already counted equal to true because we've already counted the character. Now, if we've already counted the character, we're done here. We don't need to do anything more. So we're going to say if already counted is true, continue. So continue is a less often used keyword in C. And what it does is it skips over the remainder of the loop body here. And it actually brings execution up here, where i is going to get incremented again, this condition is going to be checked again, and then potentially we're going to enter the loop body again. But it basically just skips over the remainder of the loop body. And that's what we want to do in this case, because once we've already counted the character, we know we're done with it. We don't have to consider it anymore. So if we haven't already counted the character, then what we want to do is count it. We want to figure out how many times does it occur in the string. And so here we'll say int count is equal to zero. 
and then we'll loop through the string and we'll figure out how many times does the character occur. So we'll go from J being zero up until the length of the string, incrementing by one each time. And we'll say if the character we're currently looking at is at index J, then increment the count because we've identified the character again in the string there. So this just goes through the string one at a time and it just sort of keeps a running tally of how many times that character occurs. So once we've got this count, that means we've counted the character. And if we counted the character, we're gonna to wanna to add it to that unique array of all the characters we've already counted. So we'll say here, unique at counted is equal to SI. And we'll add that character to the unique array. We'll also increment counted by one because counted is keeping track of how many characters are in this array. So then next what we'll do is check to see if the count is greater than the current max count. And if it is, it's gonna be the new max count. So we'll say here if count is greater than the max count, set max count to be the count of this character and set the maximally occurring character to be the current character. Now, the only thing with this is that we need some kind of initial max count and initial max car. Because so far I haven't really set them to anything. I do know that when I go through the string, if I ever find a count that's greater than the max count, that's gonna become the new max count. But what is the initial max count? What is the initial max car? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume that the first character we encounter in the string and that we count, that must be by default, the maximally occurring character, at least so far. So we're gonna say here, if counted, is equal to one. In other words, if this is the first character we've counted so far, then by default, we're gonna temporarily at least set it to the max count variable. So we'll say max count is equal to count and max car is equal to SI. And then else, if it's not the first character we've counted, then we're gonna do this comparison and we're gonna see if the count is greater than the max count, then this becomes the new maximally occurring character. So by the end of this loop here, we'll have identified the character that occurs the most amount of times in the string, and we just need to print it out now. We'll do a little bit of error handling here though. I'm gonna say that if the length of the string is greater than zero, let's print out that character. We'll say printf %c %d, and we'll output the max car and the max count of that character. Otherwise, we're gonna printf a bit of an error here. We'll say printf and we'll say error, string has zero length because we can't really find the maximally occurring character if the string has no length at all. So let's actually test this function out now. We'll call print max car with the string s and we expect to get back c with a count of six. So we'll compile this program and then we'll run it and we get back c with a count of six. And here we've created a function in C that finds the character that occurs the most amount of times in a string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.